Hi, and welcome to Home Theater 101. Um, I wanted to talk about, um, you know, I had a, a viewer say that, you know, he thought about just building his own, and because um, there, there are systems you can get. Uh, Dayton makes a um, subwoofer kit that you can buy and you can assemble, um, which aren't bad. I mean, you know, in the general scheme of things, these things are pretty good. Um, you know, they can really kick out some good uh, low frequencies. Um, <clears throat> but what I wanted to say was that um, if you look at the database um, uh, website and you look at their measurements and how they've come out, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not against people building their own subwoofers. I think it's great. I, I would do it myself if I could. I've seen some crazy subwoofers that would take up the full size of this wall. Um, really impressive. A database is a fun place to, to, to look around. Um, but one of the things that I was trying to explain to them is that, um, you know, there are these spikes that come with subwoofers and they're not necessarily big spikes. Um, but subwoofers like HSU and, and, and SVS and, 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 you know, other brands like that, um, you, you look at their, uh, their curve, okay, on, on, on a graph. And um, a lot of, you know, subwoofers have a curve that's, you know, a lot, a lot more of an arc. So you get really good output at 60 hertz, but at 25 hertz, it, it, it's substantially lower in decibels than the 60 hertz measurement. And so it's got a real big curve. Um, you know, HSU has a, a pretty flat curve. Um, SVS has um, seemingly even a flatter curve. Um, and I think that's kind of the key. You know, the way they make these boxes and stuff like that, they, you know, they pour them out and they do special stuff with the drivers. I mean, it's, it's what they do with it. It's, it's really impressive. Um, but my point wasn't that you know don't go building a box it'll you know it's a waste of time i was just trying to explain that uh you know it, it's the flatness of the curves that i like that's the reason i decided to go with a, a pre-made subwoofer one that's already manufactured and one that's already tested and comes out sounding phenomenal as opposed to getting one having to put it together and then eh, you know um it's one of the reasons I like SVS so much. If you get one of their subs um, and you don't like it for whatever reason, um, they've got a 45-day return policy, no shipping either way. So it's pretty pretty substantial. Um, and the other thing I like about them is that if you don't, you know, uh, if they upgrade it, this actually happened to me. Um, you know, I bought this subwoofer and then they upgraded th that subwoofer uh, within a year that I bought it. Um, and if I'd had SVS, it would have, I could have tr traded up and it would have been, you know, I, I don't know if it would have been no charge, but it would have been, you know, <laughs> it would have been a neat option to have anyway. So that's one of the reasons that I'm really kind of liking SVS right now. But, um, it's just the idea that, you know, these subwoofers come through, um, pre-built and already sounding phenomenal, already, you know, testing out uh, with amazing specs. Um, that's kind of why I decided to go with a pre-built rather than building my own. Um, and, you know, it's not to say that building your own is bad. I just, that was why I did it the way I did it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.